to another weekly vlog with your girl, Young Roots, baby. We are on our way to the dermatologist. This dermatologist has offices all around the DFW area. However, for some reason, I still go to the Denton one. I used to live close to Denton, well, closer than I do now. I used to live there, so I would go there, but now I just, I just haven't changed it. And my friend, my best friend lives in Denton, so it's nothing to kill two birds with one stone. But yeah, what's really good, y'all? It is Tuesday. I told myself that now, now that I'm content creating and I work full time, I am going to take Mondays to just readjust, refocus, because Mondays when I log in to work, the, the amount of emails and the amount of questions that I get always 100% overwhelm me. And whenever I'm overwhelmed, I tend to project. I always have like a nasty attitude whenever I'm overwhelmed, whenever I don't feel right. I just, I want everybody around me to have a bad mood if I'm in a bad mood. And I just, I don't like that about myself, one, two, and I try to refrain from that. So in order to do so, I'm just gonna take Mondays for myself just to realign and refocus. So now vlogs will most likely start on Tuesdays. But what's up y'all? It's just, it's just really inspiring sometimes. Like, because one, I feel like y'all really, y'all really mess with me. And two, life, I'm so, like, I, I second guess myself a lot. I overthink a lot. And I try to talk myself out of things just because it's imperfect. Like, I put out, or I'm, I put out a get ready with me, and I hate my eyebrows in it. Um, the straight brows, when they grow out, and my eyebrows are uneven. You can't tell until I get them, until I do them, until I start doing my makeup. And I was like, I hate this. They're gonna make fun of me. Um, this is stupid. Like, it was a good video to me. It's a good video, but I just don't like my eyebrows. And um, I'm just like, this is ugly. Like, take it down. And I'm just like, no. One, you got four years of content on this channel where you look worse than what you're putting out right now. So, baby, that hill has been climbed on, stepped on, and run on. You're fine. Number two, what is the point of you saying that you're authentic, you're trying to be genuine, you're trying to be real, and you can't even be real with yourself? You're so negative. What you so negative for, Nancy? I am. Please, just, just have faith in yourself. You know? And trust your heart. Let faith decide to guide these lights we see. Phil Collins, bro. What a dude. What a soundtrack. But yeah. So, to get into my whip and then to listen to Nine and Drake is just like, you know, I told the city that I die for it. Just to show them what it's like to be alive for it. You know? It's just like, I made that decision that this go round, whatever happens, happens. But I know that I put my in, I put my foot in it, like sugar mama. I put my foot in it, you know? And I'm just, I'm feeling inspired and I'm feeling grateful to be on this journey, you know? It's especially when you put a time limit on things. Like people started this YouTube journey a long time ago when they were in their 20s and they're reaping their benefits now. Meanwhile, I'm just starting in my 30s and that's the least of my motherfucking worries. That's the least of my worries. Okay, because if I let age stop me, that means I should let everything else stop me. You know, and I just... I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. But yeah, y'all. Welcome to this week's vlog. We got some shit for you in store today. Who is we? Who is we? I. I got some shit for y'all today. I want to go see Dungeons and Dragons today. I want to. In theory. But um, I got a lot of editing to do. And I want to do some laundry and clean my crib. But that can wait till tomorrow. Anyway, let me enjoy. 
enjoy this ride. I should be downtown whipping on the way to you. You got something that belongs to me. Her body language says it all. Who is it that's got you all got? Hey, change it all. Yo, so I just left the dermatologist. So I'm on a pill called doxycycline, and then I'm on two topicals. One that's a retinoid and another one that's a gel. So he wants to minimize the amount of breakouts I get. I get about, mm, I get them like bi-weekly, but I especially get them during my cycle. So I let him know and he put me on a stronger pill. So we'll see how that goes. It takes about six to eight weeks to see any changes. And we'll go from there. Now, I'm going to go return all the crappy PLT clothes that I copped. Because every single piece of clothing besides the sunglasses. Excuse me. Everything I got besides the sunglasses was trash. So, I'm going to go return all of that. And then, I saw this TikTok about like this blueberry lemon Stella Rose lemonade Hennessy concoction that arch your back juice. So I'm finna go get the ingredients to make that. I need some blueberries. I need some blueberries and I need another thing of Hennessy for everything else I got. Cause I keep lemons on deck, baby. Um, let's hit it. Y'all, so I'm trying to make this concoction, right? Where they got the lemons, the blueberry, the Stella Rosa, and then the Henny. And they use Stella Rosa black when I saw the video. But bitch, bitch, they, they got them hoes lined up, boy. So I'm gonna definitely try the blue. Oh, I'm so excited, bitch. I'm so excited. I'm gonna try that out for sure. This back where it don't belong. God forgive me, but yeah. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. yeah. Why they got them lined up like that? I know that's right. Well, let me finish my my grocery shopping. Mind your business. I'm trying to choose which one I want. I got this one because it's plain, but I want to get the blue with the lemons on it for the blueberry lemonade. But I mean, I'm gonna use it more than once. You know what I'm saying? Or should I be a nigga and get some with a watermelon on it? Mm. These five dollars. Easily, 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 easily. I think. I think I'm gonna get the blueberry. I'm gonna get the for the for the for the culture. I waited to get the strawberry biscuits from Popeyes, but they done burnt these hoes, bro. Like, I'm not trying to eat no burnt hard ass uh hard ass biscuit, man. That's fucking whack. But there's one that's not burnt, so we're going to try it right now. This one's not burnt. I'm not going to lie, though. They smell delicious. This one's not burnt, but it's still hard than a bitch. I would be a liar from the pits of hell if I said that shit wasn't good than a motherfucker. I saw somebody on Twitter say that she didn't like it, that it was gassed up, it was boosted because she could barely taste the strawberry. And um, I was like, yeah, they usually, when people, when a lot of people hype up something, it just becomes boosted. But no, this shit. But it's, another thing is, I like Popeyes, so. This shit, this shit not bad, boy. It's tasty and it smells so 
good. Hell, I think the smell better than the than the shit itself. Oh, delicious. Oh, delicious. Reach their biggest dreams, right. uh, biggest funds, eight digit figures. That's yeah. right. Now you yeah. cook it, boy. Big boats, you know. Yes, big yachts. Islands, yes. Islands. yes. That's the things we want, we're going to get, all right, Amen. for our generation. Amen. Amen. I got to drink that with my right hand because I, I, I need that to come true. <laughs> Take this. A little yes, bit. Yes, sir. Spread them out. Spread them out. That's good. That's good. Yes, birthday boy. <laughs> birthday boy turning 31. Why do you have this? This cake kind of good. Y'all like lemon cake? Me too. It's good. I wish I, I, I was trying to rush, so I, I, I didn't get ice cream, but I wanted to get ice cream so bad. You want to help me light? Yeah, you got one. Yeah. When it's time. Okay, I think we should take a Let's go! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Happy fucking birthday, boy! I appreciate y'all, man. It's Thursday, and I'm driving to get my brows done. And I'm vlogging for my chopper squad. And we're rolling and rolling and rolling. We could have had it all. It's a rolling in the deep. deep. Hello. Hola. What did you walk? It's your girl, Young Roots. Today is Thursday of the vlog. I haven't really been vlogging. I said I would, but I've really just been chilling, relaxing, maxing, sitting down. There was nothing really to vlog, but I do attend, I do intend to vlog quite a bit this weekend. So we'll see how that goes. But right now, you already know the deal. I'm on my way to get my brows done. Just to like touch up for the weekend. And then just gonna hit a few other errands, but how y'all doing? I, I I couldn't even be bothered to put my um, my usual ponytails on. Like I just couldn't be bothered, bro. I, I couldn't be bothered, you know. What's all the noise that's coming around now? Ah, you I'm vlogging. Anyways, yeah, so. I just couldn't be bothered. I'm really on like this real relaxing. Maybe because my blood sugar high. Or my blood sugar low, rather. And um, there's a there's just there's things that just I can't just be bothered with it. I can't be bothered with it. And today, that's the ponytail. And to be honest, like I do have a lot of clothes that I could wear in a chill type of way. However, there's I have a I have like a bin, a bin of clothes that I could just throw on. And it tends to, 
I've only noticed because I've been vlogging, but it tends to repeat itself often. I'm like, damn, Rika, you have all these clothes in your closet and you just going for the same four shirts and four sweats, you know? And I don't want y'all thinking like, I mean, granted, I don't give a damn what y'all think. Really? If you think I don't wash my hair, I don't give a damn. Right. I know what I do. But, you know, I do wanna, I do wanna give a little variety. Ah, this guy's coming strong, good. Let me go back. Really relaxing. Trying to, you know, gather my wits in, gather my mind. You know, cause I'm hopeful, yes I am, hopeful for today. Take this music and use it, let me take you away and be hopeful, hopeful, let this man go away. I know it ain't easy, but that's okay. I want to do a lot of things, but I don't have a lot of means. And because I'm just on YouTube every single day, just watching stuff, my active Im imagination becomes even more delusional. Like, now I be looking, <laughs> I be looking at hauls and vlogs and they're doing all of this stuff and I'm just be like, yeah, <laughs> that's me in six months. Bitch, I just, I just always have to calm it down. I always have to calm it down. But this weekend, let me just be really transparent with you guys. With my cycle, it's almost over. I think today's the last day, hopefully today's the last day. With my cycle, I can only speak for myself, but I become very aroused. Mind you, y'all know I've repeated it often. Um, I am very, you know, hypersexual and I'm very vocal about it. And so it, during this week, it has been a new sense. And with Ramadan, you're, you don't only fast with, you don't only fast from food and drink. You fast from, you know, uh, doing a lot of bad things, um, partying, drink, uh, drinking alcohol, smoking, cursing, using profane language, all, all of the bad things you're supposed to refrain from. One of those things being sex. Now, I haven't had sex in quite a while. I I think since I turned 30, really when I turned 29, um, although my libido has been very much the same, very much strong and ready to rumble, I my morals have changed, unfortunately, to where uh, things I can't just do things anymore that I used to. So I haven't really just been fucking, for lack of better words. So this week, hey, hey, Mocha Moose, Big Moose, oh my gosh, she has been Rocky and Bullwinkle, I just can't get enough, and I'm like, I'm really trying because I'm like, man, Ruka, you know, this is a, a, this is the month of fasting, this is the month of Ramadan, and of course I can handle myself, I can hold myself, but woo we, woo we. So that's kind of where I am. I'm I'm hanging on by a thread, boy. Before I just, I just when I, when I tell you, active imagination, I just want to go into my phone book, hit up somebody, uh, old faithful, and just be like, "What you on?" Slide, and then send the current location. Have him slide. I don't even want to speak to him when he come through the crib. He know what I want, so make sure you give it to me. You know what I want, you know why I'm here. And it's like, Ruka, get a grip. And the response to that is, I literally am Gorilla Grill. And that's what I got. And I need to figure it out because I'm losing my marbles. I'm losing my motherfucking marbles. So that's kind of where I am mentally. And I think it's got how, oh shit. It's the same motherfucking cop! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! And that stupid motorcycle! Holy shit! He ain't got nothing else to do? It's the beginning of the month. Your quota is fine. It's a little bit of a difference, ain't it? Alright, alright. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. 
the last time I went to Walmart, I was looking for blueberry simply lemonade. And then when I went, they didn't have a hoe. However, there's a Walmart right here. Sharuka finna go right here. And I'm finna see about it. I'm finna see. Should I go this way? I should go this way. I should go this way. Oh, I love shopping blocks where you can get everything done at the same time. There's a Marshall, there's a TJ Maxx, there's a Walmart. There's a this, 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 this. Love it. What song is that? Wide ass turn. I don't know what song that is. What song is that? We already here. We already at the Wally World. I love that. I love that. I'm not walking with a purpose. I know that's right, Queen. All right, let's see what we can see at this Walmart. I just feel like I'd be a granny if I got those because of them damn studs. But these are kind of fly. I already bought so many shades, though. All right, y'all. I am at Jenny's. I'm looking for silicone mix. I need some silicone mix. And my brows not looking too bad, bitch. I need some silicone mix. And then I'm looking for, like, a, a curly... Um, I'm looking for a curly sh conditioner. Excuse me. I be blinking out whenever I press record. I promise y'all. Oh, I should get, I should get this stuff. Coconut. Argon oil used to be the shit when I was younger. The coconut curls one. I get it. So, I've seen this mousse like on YouTube and TikTok. And I use, I usually use a lot of body, but it really doesn't hold or define like I you like I want to so I'm gonna try this mousse to see but this is what I really came for if you wear wigs like I wear wigs or just bundles in general and you want to revive them in any way listen to me when I spit bro silicone mix is your friend it will not do you wrong I promise you you can leave that hoe on soak it Soak it like you do that pan when you don't want to wash the dishes. Soak it and you'll be okay. Am I tripping or I, I, I look kind of Am I loving the skin that I'm in? Is that tea? Ah! <laughs> now we go get hen dog. Now we need some henny. I need some henny. So we gonna go to the we're gonna go to the liquor store. We're gonna get some liquor. How y'all doing today? How? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Just, just be calm, please. Just be regular. You don't have to come out here singing every chance you get. <laughs> Sick of myself. It ain't always gotta be a singing intro when you come in here now. Anyway, how y'all doing? Ooh, this, um, oh my, damn, this wig might not be pap ready. Yeah, this one not pap ready. I need to, I need to, I need to dig, dig I need to. Okay, now we back. I had to, I had to situate that lace front part. Uh, okay. Anyway, don't matter. So I am, before I go to bed, I'm gonna curl this hair because I'm gonna be wearing it tomorrow. My friend, he turned 31. Oh shit, and my other friend, his birthday is, oh no, his birthday is what, Saturday? Okay, cool. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so I'm gonna be curling this. Y'all can't even see this. This hair right here is from Kendra's Boutique. Um, it's the best wig I have. So ever since I got this, I got this for my birthday 
last year. So ever since I got it, every time I buy a wig, it's gonna be from Kendra's Boutique. It's pricey. And because I have a big head, everybody says, everybody laughs when I say, because I have a big head, I can't buy um, wigs that come already built or constructed. It's not funny. <laughs> it's, not, it's not fucking funny, man. Because I would love to just pay $80 to just get a wig and then whip that hoe on. I would love to do that. But I cannot because my head is huge. Even when they have different uh, cap sizes, when they have like small, medium, large, the large is still not fitting me. And it's crazy. Like everything plus size on me. Shit. Feet plus size, body plus size, head plus size. God damn. Anyway. Yeah. But I really, I'm not gonna show y'all me curling this hair because I wanna watch TV. But um, I came out here for two things. One, there's this TikToker. His name is Dre in Dallas. The only reason why I am bringing it up is because, like I said, in the car, I've been in heat. I've been, this girl is on fire. Me. And I'm not talking about any type of. STI or anything like that. I'm talking about the poom poom is hot, ready to go. Little sea slang. I'm hot, ready. I'm on so deep. Anyway, <laughs> that's not the point. Um, the point is, there's a TikToker named Dre in Dallas, and I'm bringing it up, bringing him up because what made me follow him. I've seen him. He's basically like a TikTok mukbanger. I've seen him eat food before. However. He was going to bed and he wasn't really hungry, but he just needed some nourishment. And he brought out a mango. Yeah. The way this young man ate this mango made me want to slide in his DMs and say, lunch on me. And of course I'm gonna insert a clip. <laughs> of course I'm gonna insert a clip because the mango skin that he he drug his mouth on that damn mango. And if he did that to me, I want I wouldn't be able to let that man go. <laughs> I just got out the shower and I'm trying to go to sleep. But um I only ate one today, which was the Popeyes, and y'all know I'm on Ozempic, so I can't. Uh, eat a lot. Today's one of those days where I guess that's the only time I'm going to eat. So I don't know how good this mango is going to be because I don't think it's ready. I don't think it's time yet. It seems to be a bit juicy, but I, mean, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> If you know me, you know I love mangoes. So, that's why I eat my mangoes like this. Um, yeah. This one was juicy. So I appreciate the law for that. Anyway, <laughs> that's number one. Number two is when I tell y'all I appreciate y'all, I don't think y'all truly understand. It is hard being on a self-love journey, knowing that you don't fully love yourself and knowing that even though, you know, you may be funny or you may just be bypassing the fact that that's not gonna stop you doing what you wanna do, it's still definitely hard to keep going because you are speaking, let me speak for myself, I am my biggest critic, you know? Um, yeah, it looks like, well, I am, because the who gonna be my ass shit is real. 
Like, that's the reason why I just post and go. Because one, I've already jumped that bridge, you know, in 2019. So there's no take backs. Two, yeah, you know, there's the fear that somebody might clip, you know, take a clip of my videos or take a clip of my TikTok, make it go on Twitter or Facebook, make that whole guy go viral. And I just receive unnecessary hate. Just some crazy shit like that. Um, and of course me, you know, having that self-dialogue of, or finding the origin or the roots of my self-hate and then doing what needs to be done in, in order to, you know, truly be fruitful on my self-love journey. That being said, when my choppers comment and just, you know, say, oh, Ruka, I love your vlogs, you know, keep doing you. I see you, you know, making it big, stuff like that. Um, it truly just, it, it makes me feel good. It does. I read every single comment um, because that's what I do. I, I'm one of those people that, you know, I myself, I don't like when I comment on, pe on people's shit and they don't respond. Um, even though I know I, it's, it's an irrational thought because <laughs> although I'm not expecting a response, bitch, you see me. Um, so I'm going to respond until I can't no more. And then, um, number two is that what y'all say, the genuine ones, the real ones, y'all just be making my heart smile. Y'all just, you know, I do it for me, you know, but then I do it for y'all. Y'all really just, y'all really just help a bitch. Y'all really just help me continue like Ruka. You know, they not saying this out. They not getting paid to say this. Y'all not getting paid to comment and tell me, hey, y'all mess with me. Y'all ride for me. Y'all not getting paid to say that. You know, they see something in you. I got to keep telling myself that. They see something in you. And, uh, you know, this go around, I'm talking to God every day. I'm scared because when you have such hope when you when you're so hopeful you know if anything goes awry if anything you know just happens life happens things happen you know that disappointment or that downfall is so scary it's almost paralyzing but um i just refuse to let it stop me and one of the reasons why is because y'all's love y'all show me love and you know Humor aside, me being a head ass aside, like I truly, y'all don't understand how much you mean. Because even if it stops right here, you know, I just, I feel, I, I feel very grateful. I feel very grateful. Uh, I hope we go to the moon and beyond. I hope there's no limit to this ride. I hope there's no, there's no pit stops, you know, but the destination don't hit as much as the journey. And so, you know, I just dropped a vlog today and I was reading the comments. And I'm like, dang, you know, people always say, oh, you funny, you need to be doing this, you need to be doing that. But I just be thinking they be boosting me. But nah, strangers, people that don't know me, telling me the same thing. Can't help but wonder. Hell shit. Well, they may be right. They may be right. Just a little thank you. Just a little appreciation. Anyway, I'm stroking this like I need to be stroked. So I'm just, I'm just. I'm going to just get to it because it's late. It's 10 o'clock. Oh, but I'm off tomorrow. One thing about them Christians in America, boy, they're going to give us a good Friday now. Love that for me. I shiver my mouth. Pew, 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 pew. Pop, 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 pop. I'm watching Jamima's vlog and I feel like I'm in Jamaica, so... I thought I would. Mm -mm. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Hello. 
Today is Good Friday. Good Friday means Ruka off work. So I'm using the little bit of time I have before getting ready because I know it's going to take me a while to get ready because uh, I got a, we got a weekend ahead of us. So I'm going to clean my crib. Um, and I just, I mean, you know, there's a, everybody says there's a difference between straightening up and cleaning. I, you straighten up during the week, but, you know, Sundays are usually for cleaning, resting and cleaning. But I decided to use this Good Friday to do that. So I really came on here to tell y'all that I'm about to start mopping. And I used a few, I decided to use bleach this time just to, in my mixture. And I damn near thought I made mustard gas cause I was pouring the hot water in there. I took a sniff and my hair said, boop, 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 boop. I said, oh my God, what did I, what did I create in there? I hope it clean. I hope it clean these uh, walls. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I think the theme of this vlog is deprivation, but also enlightenment. Also, encourage yourself. It's also about not needing worldly things and only needing faith, only needing God. So I'll just continue to focus on that and focus on my journey and my path. But yes, cleaning right now. I know for a fact a nap is in my forecast. A nap is in my predictions. A nap is in my to-do list. A nap is in my future productivity. It's there. I'm about to go lay down. I'm about to go lay down. I'm about to go, go. Lay down. After I finish my, I hope I don't pass out from the shit that I made here. Yeah. I didn't know it was so easy to be breaking bad in your, in your, uh, in your damn kitchen, be a chemist. Hell. But yeah, I'm just watching, just wasting time watching uh Jimmy vlog. Every time, like I will say, like travel vlogs to me are like some of the best vlogs because. You know, if they do it right, you definitely feel like you're there. You definitely get like some type of energy like, I want to travel soon or I want to do this soon. Uh, it just it just gives me, I, I really see the appeal. I really see the appeal in these vlogs because uh, maybe from my perspective especially, it makes me inspired to do things. It makes me activated to do things you know i start affirming myself no pay service like i i really start saying things like i'm gonna do that you know and so when i see tropical places like when peyton uh, marie charles she went to the maldives for her birthday beautiful you know um this hoe she went to jamaica and then she went to panama panama beautiful when people go to places like these even if people go to wyoming Idaho, Utah, Salt Lake. There's beauty, you know, that we don't necessarily see because we're, well, excuse me for myself. I'm focused on my day to day. I work, I do this, I do that. And I'm not seeing that there's beauty around us. You know, there's beauty. How did, how did, uh, Drew Hill say it? Every time I come up on here, I feel like I had a, I got a word on my heart. I got something to say. Well, let me go mop. Let me go mop. I'm so damn scared to use my camera. Because that damn slow-mo, that S&P. Listen to me, my future vloggers. The ones that are looking to be where they want to be. If y'all go with the Sony, that S&P function. Boy, if I could squabble, if I could fight a button, it would be that button. So I'm, I'm, you, I'm, 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 a little, a little, a little. I'm definitely gonna continue using the camera. I like the quality of it. I love how I look in it. I look efficient, but uh, I'm gonna still definitely be using my phone. It's clear. You see me now. See y'all soon.
So one thing about me that's a huge issue that I'm working on, but not necessarily, but I know, I, I wanna preface this by saying by the end of this year, I want to look, not even look into, because I've been looking into it for years. I definitely want to find, I definitely wanna find a good therapist. I've attempted a few times, like with free sessions at school or through uh, televisits, but I haven't been moved. Like these are questions that people on TikTok can ask me, or these are questions that it's kind of like the same, it's kind of like a situation where I'm talking to someone foreign or strange and I never feel comfortable enough. Like I feel more comfortable speaking with you all and having received feedback through comments or DMs rather than paying this amount of money to get on a Zoom call and feel like I'm at work. That goes without saying. However, the reason that I'm speaking right now is that in a moment for for any reason, whether it's a friend, a romantic partner, a coworker, a colleague, it doesn't matter. If I am in the mood, I'm going to agree to something. I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, hell yeah, that sounds cool. That sounds like fun. I'm a, I'm a slide. And then when the day comes, if I don't feel like it, if I no longer feel like it, I'm not going to go. And usually before I would, I would flake, I would ghost, I would, the day of, I wouldn't say anything, hoping they wouldn't say anything. And then we'll just act like it never happened. However, now I definitely try to speak before the day comes like, oh, I'm just not feeling it. Um, can we reschedule or, oh, I'm not feeling it right now. I'm sorry. I, I thought I wanted to, and now the day is here. I just don't feel like it. So this is coming from somebody who also flakes really bad. So it's going from flaking to using my communicative skills to now not saying yes to something that I know when the day comes, I'll say no to. It's a gradual thing, but I definitely see a difference. With that being said, there are some people in my past who use the past me in order to justify how they come at me. That's where, you know you got me fucked up, right? You know you done fucked up, right? Because, yes, I understand exactly where you're coming from. I understand why you feel that way. I understand why you're thinking that way. You have incredible evidence. You have proof. You have receipts because I know what I did. And you know what I did. You know I flaked. You know I said I'm coming and I, I said I'm on my way. I'm not coming. I'm on my, on my way. You know, I'll be like, what you doing Saturday? Saturday come. I don't. You don't hear a peep or a bow when it come to me. Of course, I feel you. However, that was 2018. It's 2023. Ruka communicates now. And also, just because when I ask you what's your schedule looking like, okay, your schedule looks like this, doesn't mean I'm necessarily going to immediately put something on the books. I have to look at my schedule. I have to look at my mental health, how I'm feeling. Because things, when things line up, say, for instance, you go on a trip, right? And before you go on this trip, you have things to do after you come back from that trip. Right. However, that trip is exhausting. You spent more money than you thought. Uh, you didn't get enough sleep. You're exhausted. You come back. And so the things that you thought you were going to do that week that you came back are kind of on the back burner. They're kind of, I don't know if I'm going to do it. I'm not in a mental state to do it. I spent too much money, this, that, and the third. So things that once were are no longer because of information or things that have changed. You feel me? And it's the same thing with me. So you try to rearrange things. When I get your schedule, I'm like, okay, I have this, this, this. I have a weekend coming up where I'm celebrating two people's birthdays. So I know I'm going to be exhausted then. So I don't want to squeeze you in because then I'll cancel. So let me see. Let me see. It's a process. And then as we get older, the way, you know, I always talk about the most apps I use is TikTok, Twitter, and my calendar. The way I'm in that calendar, you would think I'm a mathematician. I'll be moving, hey, I'll be moving numbers around, crunching them bad boys, crunching them numbers, I'm trying to see what's going on so I can make sure that I have, I carve out not only time, but effort, and there's no rush. Like, oh, I got all day with you. I got all day with you. Whatever you, whatever you want to do, because you know when you meet up with somebody and y'all having a good time, Sometimes y'all want to take it to the, y'all want to take it into the night. We get to fuck up the night. Fuck up the night. We get to fuck up the You want to 
take it into the night. So what started off as a lunch, y'all at the hookah spot with the BYOBs. You know what I'm saying? And you want to be able to maneuver that. You don't want to have to plan too much in between because then you'll be exhausted in the mental capacity that you thought you had, you don't have, and now you're terrible company. And that's not Ruka, okay? I'm just trying to utilize my senses, utilize the truth, and utilize my communication. But when you hold all shit against me, that's when I start to that's when I start to light up. That's when I start to get ignorant because the thing about it is I'm an ignorant bitch. And I don't mean that in an insultive way. I am an ignorant bitch. And when I get ignorant, I do. I do. I I, I hit below the belt. Ain't no reason if we going if we going back and forth, there's no reason to keep it cute. We back and forth. No Aaliyah. So now, shit, you may even not even have a belt under the belly, under the hip. Boy, I'm coming at you. Do, 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 do. Since you want to come at me, I'm coming at you. We're going to sound like a Kendrick Lamar song off of Rosecrans. I promise you. Yes. Yes. And this does not eliminate the faults that I have. I started, I initiated this, this clip, this scene with the fact that I know where my faults lie. For sure. I know that I'm growing and I know I'm going to still fuck up. For sure. But past me, present me, and future me, although have the same foundation of Ruka, are different. They're different. So handle me as such. Thank you. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Everybody have a wonderful day. Yeah, y'all. I... I kind of sort of want to just like cut my eyebrows off and start all over again because they're so uneven and it makes me so mad. Like, even when I try to even them up in the beginning, when I conceal, they end up right back looking like, do you know what The Rock is cooking? It's so annoying. It's so annoying. But, um, yes, I'm getting ready to, I was going to do a get ready with me because I think I, I think I'm going to like the fit that I have. I got it from Eloquy. I just, it literally touched down today. I wish I would have got a bigger size, but it, it is what it is right now. One, two, he, the celebrant wants us to wear pink or a touch of pink. And I have some pink, but like I had pink tops, but I didn't have a good pink bottom to go with it. Um, so I kind of didn't know what to wear until today. So I'm just going to wear what came in, even though it's a little tight. Oh, well. I had to iron it. I, I don't remember the last time I put an iron to a piece of cloth, an article of clothing, but here we are. So I was going to do a get ready with me, but alas, there's not enough time for me to really talk about what I want to talk about and then get ready in a uh, sufficient amount of time because um, his, his dinner reservation is at 7 and I want to make sure that I'm there on time. Yeah. I know Daniel Caesar was canceled for giving his all virtually to defend someone that wouldn't defend him. I think it was Yes Jules. I don't even know who that woman is. I don't know what she's famous. I have no idea, but I do remember that name. And we, um, <laughs> no, it was funny because nobody ever talked about Daniel Caesar or his appearance, his physical appearance, until that day. Then everybody started coming at his appearance. And I'm just like, that's what happens. That's what happens. Why would, why would you why would you come out of hiding? Why would you come out of your cave and defend someone like that who wouldn't defend you if you were in the limelight for a negative reason? That's odd to me. But you know black men and their savior complex. So I'll let that be. However, he did drop an album, and I wanted to know if anybody's listened to it. Have y'all listened to it? If so, what do y'all think? Um, he dropped an album. Black, he dropped an album, or Six Lack, whatever y'all want to call him. He dropped an album. Mac Ayers, I don't know if y'all listen to Mac Ayers, but he dropped an album. But I also want to diversify my music um, listening. So if you have different albums or different songs or different artists that you want to suggest, please suggest them to me. Because, and I'm open to everything. At first, I would always say I'm open to everything except country. However, now, with the way life is, a little country never hurt nobody. Okay, so, I'm open to anything. Let me know.
You see why I wanted to do a get ready with me? I love this wig. I love this wig. It makes me feel like I'm expensive, bitch. But yeah, so I am crazy enough. I have a little time to spare, but not enough. Like, I have enough time to put on my shoes and change my purse and get out. I. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm about to head out. Oh, I want to show y'all my outfit that I got from Eloquii. Unfortunately, the buttons, because of my, my breast, <laughs> they don't button all the way. But I am not... I am not one to skip on titty anyway, so there is going to be some titty. Um, but, I mean, what's new? I can't, I can't hide these tiggo things, so let me show you my outfit. I, in fact, did not show you my outfit. <laughs> I know my <laughs> It's hot in here. Oh, yeah. We ain't gonna slip. I'm on, do you not know tell me? No, no. Okay, no. can you raise your glasses? Do it. Oh, yeah. You got contracts? Yeah. Boo, yeah. shut up. I would like to say to our very dear friend, Daniel. It's a fun cat. You know, more blessings, more life, more health, more wealth, prosperity. Happy birthday, E. You and I can hear anything. Wait, wait, wait. Before you before you get it. Shit. Yeah, who, who put the flash on? Put the flash on so they can get the coconut. Like, like. That shit is great. That shit is great for us. Kevin. No, it's not, it's not about you. you. It's not. I mean, I'm in the. <laughs> you are right in the middle. Like, are y'all done with the follow up? What's up, Ruth? What's up, Queen? Can you go away? Shit. I can, I can never. You wanna every time you see it, every time he see a, every time he see a lens, he wanna do something. Do I want to what? Yeah, I don't want. I don't want a pot sticker though. I want to. Uh, I want some coconut shrimp. Y'all don't want that. I want some coconut shrimp. Some crab cake. <laughs> you don't want that? shit. Better get it while it's hot. <laughs> what is this called? What is this tower called? So the first, I don't know what the tower's called, but the first one is coconut shrimp. The second one is Kobe beef pot stickers, and then the third one is crab cake. Exactly. Exactly. I thought she was getting some for us. But you about to tear it up. As a matter of fact, taste it real quick. Let me see how it tastes. You want some? She charity hit, hitting it. Charity. You want one of each? Oh. No, we we passing the, the plate round. Charity. Let me get exactly. Go, go. Give me a, a coconut shrimp and a and a and a crab cake. It's good. Does it need some sauce? You you keep this one. Okay, cool. There. It looks like it needs some sauce. Give me what I need. I get it. Y'all not warm? Mm -hmm. It's not warm in here? I'm tripping. It's warm temp? You ordered a light too. It's a dim light. Maybe it's just me. Ooh. This crab cake look kind of shit. Can you give me one more dog? Wait, you got a sauce. It needs like a... It needs like a... Ribeye? Yeah. Oh, yours looks good, Kat. That's like my night munchies. So if I don't eat it all... Yeah, if you don't eat it all, that's what I'm thinking. Like, if you don't eat it all... Kat, what you did? Stop throwing up the west. What did you get? What did you get? What did you get? Uh, I got the. I got I'm the, awesome. I got the 32 ounce. Um, yeah. you do that. That's the shower. Damn, Dory, that one looks good. It do. I know. I know I ain't gonna eat all this. And you was fighting with Dory. Yeah, I know. I ain't gonna eat all this. That gave me the whole tree. They gave me the whole tree. Two of them things, actually. Yeah, so. 
we back we back in the crib after the dinner the dinner we went to a place called chamberlain's it was okay it wasn't nothing i wouldn't go back unless unless somebody else was paying for it uh oh shit i didn't show y'all my outfit before i changed my bad but you can see it on the gram when i post it I just felt like I had to get out of it. But um, now we're headed to the strip. I lived close to the steakhouse, so I just came back home to like just refreshing real quick. And uh, drop off my camera because I'm definitely not taking my camera to the strip club. But I will have my phone. Yeah, it was cool. I met some new people. Talked about my channel. For some reason, I don't like when people say, oh, she famous. Like, no, I'm not. Because, bitch, I'd rather be rich than famous. You know what I'm saying? So, I I don't want you to just be like, oh, she famous, she famous. Because if I'm famous, where's the money? Where's the moolah la la, you know? Show me the pesos. Show me the yen. Show me the dinero. This one, is not, there's nothing in here. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. But yeah, I think... I think my makeup still looks hella good. What do y'all think? <laughs> like... Yeah, I hate my eyebrows, but I beat the face, you know what I'm saying? And I really was sleep on that uh on that Charlotte Tilbury, like I really was sleep on that bitch. Trying to mask that uh that lace. <laughs> I did change. I hope this is not too relaxed for the club. I'm kinda giving like butch queen, but I don't mind that. I don't mind giving a little bush, little butch. Um, just a quick like refresher, you know? Just something like, just to let them know like, I'm still that bitch, you know? Just to get the, oh, you know what? I have the um perfect, the, what is this? The Fenty Invisimat Blotting Powder. So let's try this. Let's try it out. Okay. Easy, easy. Take the camera right on. Let's see what this is talking about. Okay, little matte, little. Mm. Y'all see a difference in shine? Hmm. Okay. Okay. What y'all think? Ooh, uh, maybe. Ooh, let me add a little bit more blush. Add some blush. Blush gonna always get it back right. Hold on. Fenty might have did something with that. Oh, yeah. Fenty might have did something with that. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Am I looking luscious? Tell me that. You know what? I'm going to add. I haven't added this in a while. This is um some glitter spray. I'm just going to add a little bit. Ooh, yeah. Just, you know, let these niggas know. Yeah. And then I'm going to. I'm going to use the Tom Ford Black Orchid. I'm, I layer this one with, I think this is a unisex scent, if I'm not mistaken. But I layer it with the Chloe. Just 
smells good to me. To me. But it is a different scent. It's kind of like a stronger scent of anything. Ooh, Ruka. Ruka, Ruka. I really wanted to do a get ready with me with y'all with this wig because this wig just brings out the Cause I can't go anywhere without thinking that you're there. Seem like you're everywhere, it's true. Gotta be having deja vu. It gives me, it gives me expensive vibes. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I am gonna leave you. I'm gonna leave the camera here, but y'all gonna come with my phone. I'm wearing some, some, some cargos and a uh, green crop top and oh yeah i need to get earrings oh, today's only friday shit yeah just just some just some hoops some lighter hoops i had my big hoops on but this is this is good yeah yeah your girls outside i know y'all tired of me looking crazy every day so let me show y'all how how i gets down on the weekend Good as hell. For what? And for what? For what? I mean, I got something in the trunk. What's taking us so long? Yeah. Oh, there they go. They go. was a nuisance it was a damn mess y'all see the clips y'all seen the damn clips and i couldn't even put all of the ones that i wanted to because obviously it's a booty club so you're gonna see some ass and titties ass and titties one ass and titties you're gonna see it man and then we ordered wings and them hoes came out cold like if you're gonna be a strip club the least you can do is have decent food you know decent booty and decent food you know, and like, word to all my Latinas, I love my Latinas. I think a lot of y'all, like 90% of y'all are sexy. But, and, and, and this is a low-key shade against my black women. Ah, oh, shit, I can't really just say that because I, 
I'm part of that statistic. But God damn, be on time. Shoot. We didn't get to see you we didn't get to see the different shades, the different varieties around until like we was leaving. Excuse me, until I was leaving. Because I refused, I'm sorry about my wig. Actually, no, I'm not. I refused to. What was I saying? Shit, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little lit. <laughs> I'm a little lit. I'm a little lit. Uh, but we had a good time. We had a good time. Um, my this wig, when I tell you this wig is on, I'm not playing. It is on. Uh, so I'm gonna, I need to take this off. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna take it off with you guys. One second. I do think I ate my makeup today. Finally, my my lashes are on the same level and I don't look cockeyed. And I think that's what really made the look. And then, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I'm so glad that I revisited that Charlotte Tilbury spray because that always the truth. I was sleeping. Anyway, this is what I used to take off my wig. I just put it on the perimeter. I need to wash the lace on this bad boy, but this hoe is on tighter than my poop. <laughs> so yeah, I just put it on the perimeter. I use this to take off my makeup too, so God damn. Ooh, this hoe is on. Ooh, wee. It is so, and this is one of the few times that my wig did not slip off. Cause usually I guess I'm sw Ooh. 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 I should be making that sound in bed. Oh, Ash. Oh my God. Ooh, Ruka don't pull too tight. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, wee. I I, I, what? I tell you what, I was on there, and I just take off the excess glue from the wig, so I don't have to worry about that staying on the actual wig. And I look different immediately. <laughs> yeah, take off. This is kind of like a get unready with me. Ooh, those are ready to come off. Ooh, ooh, look at me. Okay. Ooh, shit, that got me. Ooh. Ooh, it was on there tight. Ooh, it was on there tight. Anyway, thank God I, I made it through day one. Let day two commence. It's the Bonnet, bad, it finna come and handle it. Riding round Dallas, Texas, Nanakin, Shenan once, and they gon' shit Nanakin. Watch my hand as I brought the stamina in. Going crazy, about to lose my lady. Got that thing on fire, and I'm tripping crazy. Got me driving smooth, got me driving fast. When I would grain grip, best I'm on your ass. When I pull it up, best believe the cup is doubled up. Main the West is up, cause I am from the SWAT and best believe it's not a place to play, okay? Cause I will blow in your face. It's the bond and bad, and I'm back again. If they should, and then they gon' shenan again. I'm finna go all in. I'm going crazy live when I, I rap from the dome. Best believe it's fire. I said, banana and mango and strawberry, blueberry and dragon fruit. I am naming fruits because I am so sweet. And I'm healthy for you, mm, mm, mm. a tree. Mm. Bam, 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 bam. What? What? Off the door? What? 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 I'm the bonnet man. That's a. That's a bar. That's a bar. Man, 
I be proud of myself sometimes. Anyway, it's your girl, Young Roots. We back again. Today is Saturday. Yesterday was a doozy. Yes. So we did go to eat dinner at this place called Chamberlain's, which was, it was all right. It was nothing. I wouldn't go back. It wasn't nothing like, oh my gosh, what a great steakhouse. No, I wasn't, it wasn't doing that for me personally. I mean, the price was for a steakhouse. It was solid. I think I paid with gratuity. Of course they added gratuity. It was $96. So that was that's not, and I got a filet mignon with mashed potatoes, and then I got a side of green beans. The green beans was good, but I don't think the side should overshadow shit. I think the main thing, if you're a steakhouse, the main thing that should be coming to your mind is the steak. Anyway, so after Chamberlain's, I just changed it to something more comfortable, and then I went to pregame, and then we went to the strip club. I know I shouldn't have been in the strip club, it's Ramadan, stuff like that, but. I'm a human, you know, we're weak. So I was in the strip club seeing booty <laughs> and it was cool, it was cool. But for me, it's not my steeds, it's not my scene. Uh, it's just that it was the it was their birthday boys. It's their, it's their birthday and one of the celebrants, he's never been to a strip club before. I mean, and he's from Houston, so I'm so confused on that. However, whatever first time for everything and that's another reason why i wanted to go you know if it's your first time i want to definitely be there for you on your first time just for memory's sake so i did get back kind of early for the strip club i got i got back home at two uh i, I took off my wig as y'all saw and that shit burned me that um ghost bomb burned me i hope you can see it it's crazy i'm driving so i can't do nothing too crazy but yeah that shit burned me i said oh and you know what's terrible is that I'm going to wear a wig again today and I'm going to place it in the exact same spot. And I know it's going to hurt me. But what is pain? What is beauty? And what is pain? Okay. So I have to do it. There's no other choice for me because it'll go with my fits. Speaking of fits, that's why I'm driving right now because I'm about to have a BF. I have a top that is that I want to wear tonight. We're going to Soho tonight. So I have a top that I want to wear. However, I don't have any bottoms. I don't have any pants that I want, want to wear with it that go with it. Um, I mean, I do have like a default jeans, like some black jeans, but I wear those jeans all the time. And then I have a skirt, but I wear that skirt all the time. So I'm gonna try to go to tour and I'm gonna try to go to Target just to see if they have anything. And then if they don't, I'm as a matter of fact, I'm not even gonna think about it if they don't. We're just gonna hurdle that hoop when we get there. I never get that saying right. We're gonna jump that hoop when we get there. We're gonna jump that hurdle when we get there. Huh. Anyways, that's what we're gonna do. Um, Trader Joe's is right by this tour, so I'm definitely gonna get some brioche bread. What did I say in the last vlog? You're not you're not watching Young Rooks. You're not watching Ruka if there's not a Trader Joe's or a Ulta Hall in the motherfucker. All up in the bitch. Cheese all up in the bitch. <laughs> That's what we finna do. Ooh, shame that I can die. Shame that I can die. Hey, so shine bright tonight. He, where is that coming from? Ha, I'm an angel. I look like a little cherub anyway. But, um, it's the pony bandit, and I'm back again. If they shenan once, they gon' shenan again. Ooh! <laughs> That's a bob. This is the best bread in the entire world. I'm not capping. I'm not capping, I'm getting two. Just as I fucking suspected, um, Tord was a bust. So now I'm gonna go see what Target is looking like. If Target doesn't have anything, I'm gonna go see what Kato's looking like. If Kato doesn't have anything, I'm going home and I'm trying again. That's all I can do in this life. That's all I can do because 
I can't come and kill myself. That's number one. I wanted to get these, but they don't have them in my size. But I like I like the print on them, and I know it'll be a good contrast with the top I'm trying to get. But not my size. They have this little eclectic ass, feature collector ass, whatever. I'm not really feeling it though. Came here for one purpose. It's crazy when you come in for something and you can't get what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's my area of expertise. Should I get these? I don't know why, but I like them, even though they parachute crazily at the at the ends. I like them. And they fit. They fit kind of, they fit kind of good at the top. I don't know. I like them though. I don't know, they're $36. They're $36. I'm trying to see where would I wear these to. With no ass look. No ass, no ass. Target was a bus as well. They did have items, but not for the fit that I was going for. I mean, I am gonna go to Cato, but this will be my last stop because, again, it's not my birthday or anything like that. I just wanna look cohesive. And I know for black and green, it just, I mean, it do go, but like, I'm not Mrs. Trunchbull. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we just gonna try Kato and see. I did get some lounge pants because I need more things to wear around the crib. Some more comfy things. So, and they were on sale, so I feel like I got a good deal on those. But I didn't buy the cargo pants. I, they, I liked them for what they were, but I didn't $36 like them. I didn't $36 like them. If they were like $20, I would've caught. Uh, but yeah, let's see what Kato was talking about. Garbage. All right, y'all. I didn't made it home um, before, because obviously I'm gonna need a nap before we start getting ready. But before we start doing that, I saw a TikTok that I um, wanted to recreate, featuring a drink. So I got this. A tea jar from Walmart for five dollars. <laughs> then the actual drink involves lemons, blueberries, freshly washed. The drink, the the liquids, simply lemonade, Stella Rosa, blueberry beach, hen dog, the whole thing. So we're gonna make this right now, and I'm excited because about time. Of vodka. <laughs> oh shit. Nice. Y'all, if y'all would have saw the behind the scenes for the way I had to open up this fucking henny. Anyway, we pouring it in here. All of it. Fuck it. As much Wahala they gave me, we pouring all of that bitch in here. Oh, that's going in here. We done made ourselves some fucking punch. I mean, that's right. This is the top that I wanted to wear. I will say, as a big body bitch with a with some back rolls, the this the back of the top is rolling down like Tina Turner. But um, I'm gonna ask a friend to 
hike that hoe up. But yeah, this is the top. I didn't find any pants. That's the tee. I didn't find any pants. So I'm just wearing some black jeans. And then I'm going to wear my pink, my pink mules. They're the most comf comfortable shoes that I have heel-wise. And I know, you know, it's not matchy-matchy. But if I told you I gave a fuck, I promise you I'd be lying. Yeah, so this is the fit. <clears throat> I'm drinking on that blueberry concoction that I made earlier today. It is delicious. It's delicioso. Again, not taking my camera with me because I'm not taking my camera with me in the club. I kind of actually hate this place, so I don't want them to give me any wahala. Because if they give me wa any wahala while I'm in my while I'm with my camera, something's liable to break. Whether my camera, whether somebody bones, something's something's coming. So. Yeah, hope I have fun. <laughs> I look, I feel like I look good. I think my hair came out really good. It's that silicone mix. I think it worked really well with this hair. And then I got that new conditioner. And I think, again, worked really well with this hair because it's not wet, but it's giving wet and wavy. So, yeah. See y'all when I get to the pregame. God for you know their lives. We want to thank God for bringing them this far, right. for the achievements that they they accomplished, right. for the fact that they have weathered the storm. They've gone through everything imaginable that you can think of under the sun. Mm -hmm. They managed to come out on the other side stronger. Mm -hmm. We thank God for progression of life. Right. Yes. We thank God for progression of self. Yes. Right. Yes. This, day, this day is about you two men. Yes. I want you guys yeah. to revel in it. Yes. Enjoy. Let loose because what you deserve it. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Well, y'all make a wish. Make a wish, y'all. Wish everybody in the room get more money, including me. Okay. Make a wish, Kello. Oh yeah, somebody count them down. Two, one. When you have good friends, this is what happens. This is what happens. So, it's the end of the night. I'm at the taco spot. I got some tacos. I'm finna tear these up. I can't move. I can't move a muscle. I can't move a, a damn thing. I can't move a bone until I eat these tacos. I'll tell you what. And you know what's crazy? Like, I really want some dick right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. But also, there is this guy at this taco spot. It's a lot of Latin, Latinos and Latinas. And there's this one guy. He was right behind me. They ordered right behind me. And he was like, oh, I was in front of you, right? I was like, nah, nigga, you was behind me. And he was like, oh, okay. I was like, you was with a woman. He was like, yeah, that's my sugar mama. And I was like, oh, 
<laughs> okay. He was like, yeah, I haven't been out in a month. And she was like, let's go out. And I was like, how come you haven't been out in a month? He was like, oh, I was locked up. Of course you were. Of course you were. And then he was just talking to me, flirting with me. And I'm just like, bro, your shika mama just bought you your tacos and you flirted with me. Be fucking for real. It's really nothing like tacos to end your night. No cap. But... Tonight was cool. I went to Soho. Turned that bitch out. They still there. I had to leave. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I have to leave. So I don't close till 4.30. Let me tell you something. I'm not staying nowhere till 4.30. No. Me? No. But they still there. I'm going to tell them their lives. My wig's lit. I got my I got my melting band on. <laughs> Cause the owl wasn't glued right for real. And I knew it wasn't glued right when I left. That's why. That's why I brought that. A melting band. Yeah, I sure did. And I was readjusting it in the crib. I said in the crib. In the club. People was laughing. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna readjust. One thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pivot. And I'm gonna readjust. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not lying. I'm turning these hoes up. I'm not on the side. I said, Y'all got Sprite? She said, Coke and orange. I said, Let me get that orange. <laughs> thing that'll make this night better is some dang line. Uh, no cap. Uh, I'm feeling better already. This is all I needed. This is all the fuck I needed. You know what I'm mm. Mm. Take a bite. Mm -hmm. I'm not lying. I feel better already. This is all I need. Hundred percent, bro. And that line just getting longer. That line just getting longer. People leaving the club. I've never seen so many cowboy hats in my life. That I was watching Yellowstone. One thing black men like, they like themselves a cowboy hat. They look good in it too. Mm. Gone. Oh, shit. Y'all, and I got some ones. I put them in my titty. No one in my titty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> put them in my titty. No one in my titty. Put them in my titty. Put them in my titty. Put them in I'm gonna count with y'all, man. Oh, shit, this is. You know, I had to double it. Four. That's four right there. You throw money in the air. I'm gonna catch it. I'm gonna catch it. Six. You know, I'm proud of myself because in the midst of me being lit as hell, I said. I want my choppers to see me eat these tacos. This nigga, this nigga, this nigga 
<laughs> this nigga lit as fuck. Oh man, I wish you could see how this nigga walk in. I'm screaming. <laughs> yeah. I said, let me include my choppers in the in my my nightcap with my dollars in my in my titties. Love that for me. That's a mom. Yes, sir. Let me make sure. Ooh, got some. Oh, ooh. Okay. You would have thought I was a stripper. <gasps> okay. Okay. All right, y'all. Yeah. Got a little bit of cash on me. <laughs> yeah. This crumpled ass dollar bills. I'm screaming. Yeah, nigga, what you said you needed? You said, you said, you said you want a Lamborghini? I bet. It's on me. It's on me, baby. <laughs> Thank you for being a part of my nightcap. I hope you had a good Saturday. Oh, no, I did. <sighs> What's up, y'all? It's Young Roots on the map. It's your own roots back again, and it's Sunday. It is the end of Easter weekend. It is the end of the airy celebration. And ah, the sky is moving up. Wow. And it's the end of the week. So we're the beginning of a new one, fresh restart. Blah 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 blah. It was a good weekend. It was a good weekend. I didn't get the the very thing that I wanted, but I didn't go looking for. Mm -hmm. I went looking for it, but I didn't go looking for it wholeheartedly. You know, I had my eyes set on one thing, and if I couldn't get that thing, then I wasn't gonna go looking for a compromise. But that's just, that's, it, in terms of the weekend, in terms of the functions and stuff, it was solid, you know? Everybody seemed to have had fun, and I, oh, I, got, a, I got a new case. It's cool or whatever, but it, it doesn't feel very protective. But it's cool. Uh, yeah, so now I'm going to pin stack, just pin stack, which is like a bowling, Dave and Buster's type of thing, just to close off the weekend, say hey to everybody, see if they had a time last night, because we had a time last night. I, well, let me say, I had a time last night. I got lit. I did. I did get lit. But those tacos helped me. Oh my gosh. And that orange fan, I. I don't even remember the last time I had orange Fanta. I don't even remember the last time, but it, man, it's a doo -doo -doo -doo. You have recalibrated. <laughs> I stayed in bed, y'all. I stayed in bed till like, I kept waking up and sleeping. So first time I woke up at seven, Next time I woke up was like 9. Next time I woke up was like 12. And then I woke up again at 2. I was in bed until 2 o'clock. I couldn't move. Boy, I couldn't move. Hey, that nigga don't hit like he used to hit back when it was hitting. Boy. I said, God, Lee, look at your, your limbs. Your limbs. Your joints. You're not as limber as you once was, baby. You can't just bounce back. You can't just bounce back, boy. But... You know, we thank God. We thank God for mercy. We thank God for celebration. We, we we thank God for life, you know? And it's so nice to see people you fuck with, like, being loved on the way they, des they deserve to be loved on. Like, what you mean you get a big-ass cutout at the club? That's cool. I love stuff like that. <laughs> Y'all 
musty as hell. Pretend like y'all not musty. Are they gonna do me? I'll say, ah, one, two, three. Before I close out this vlog, I wanted y'all to see my chill outfit. So I got some fake Yeezys on, some fake uh, phones, cargos. Again, linked in my Amazon storefront. These are from Amazon. Then I got this Teddy shirt from Fashion Nova, and then earrings from the Beauty Supply Store. So yeah, um, I'm gonna end this vlog here. It's been a hell of a week. I'm so glad I got to celebrate it with my boys, my guys, my fellas. Um, now I'm just, I'm tired and I just want to get settled in for the work week ahead of me because we did have Friday off. So I already know those emails are piling up because I was off. So I just want to get into that mental head space to where everything doesn't annoy me as soon as I log in. <laughs> but yes, thanks for tuning in. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.